All right, guys, welcome to a mobility session with myself, Lucas. Going to go through some key stretches at the end of, of a good session, and we'll just walk through the lower body, a wee bit of the upper body as well. Okay, so what we're going to do, start from your hands and knees, hands nice and far out in front, and you're going to crouch down, pushing your head between your shoulders, and relaxing into that stretch. We're going to use this as a bit of a dynamic stretch. So you're going to come through. Stretch up through the torso as well, up through the abdominals, and then back through. One. Hold in that position each time for slightly longer as we stretch off the muscles. Nice big breath in, big breath out. On the breath out, pushing back. Holding this one for slightly longer on this set. Okay, back to your hands and knees. There you go. Nice position. Knees staying squared off. I'm not going to flare it out yet. Hands down the centre. Hold that position. Torso nice and long. Once you're nice and stable, reach your hands out as far as you can. Keeping that knee and uh, facing over your foot. Foot nice and gripped into the ground and just stretching further and further away. Gonna hold this stretch for a minute. Again, if you get comfortable and you feel like you can go a little bit longer, make sure you do so. Don't force into it, don't jam it. Don't really try and squeeze, just nice and relaxed. Relaxing off the muscles. 30 seconds left. Nice big breaths out. Control the breathing. It's last 20 seconds. So if you can get a little bit further this time, now's the time to do it. 10 seconds. Big breath in. Big breath out. Bring your hands back. Now you're going to flay your knee out. Pushing out, just in near your groin. Push out with the elbow. Like so. So for every angle on that, you're going to be here. Elbow in here. Push out. Really squeeze that, okay? You know, so count to three. One, two, three. Relax back in. Nice and relaxed. Flare the foot out. Knees coming out. Push that a little bit further. One, two, three. Relax it. Foot out, knee out, elbow in. One, two, three. Now we're going to work on the other side. So left foot forward, nice and tall. Stretch yourself down. And then again, same as the last time, stretch forward. When you're in that position, nice and relaxed. Again, going to hold this for a minute. Just breathe in your own time, but make sure it's nice deep breaths. Big breath in, big breath out. Really relaxing the breaths and the muscles at the same time. Grip that foot into the ground, don't let it flare onto its side. Really want to keep it in a nice line with the knees facing over the toes. 20 seconds left, so if you can, reach a little bit further forward. Really stretching up through the upper back. Last five seconds. Big breath in. Big breath out. Okay. From there, you're going to sit back onto your heels and relax down. Okay, so again, this is a minute stretch. So if you need to, be slightly more upright, that's fine. Take your hands further back if you can. If you can, lean onto your elbows, okay? And just nice and relaxed in this position. Your breathing is key when you're in this position because if you hold that tension within your breath, you're really going to struggle and cramp up. So nice and relaxed. Just 
Try and get a little bit lower if you can for the last 20 seconds. And move on up. From there, gonna stretch out. Feet nice and wide apart. Take a solid grip and lean down for it. Okay, if you can, lean onto your elbows. If not, just on your hands. Just move your hands, shifting your hips till you find a nice, comfortable stretch. You don't want it to be agony. We're gonna be here for just over a minute. But anything that's gonna feel like it's gonna be beneficial is key. Toes pointed forwards. squared off. Relax the upper back. Let it round off, there's no problem with that. Don't need to focus on that. It's just nice and relaxed back. We're focusing on the hamstrings here and your groin as well. Okay, back onto your hands if you're on your elbows and just walk it back in. From there, we're going to go to seated. Okay, squared off in an overlap position or cross in, okay? So, if it's stacked, it's called a double pigeon. You're gonna lean into it. This is a good stretch for the glute. However, if it's too difficult, go from here, you'll still feel it, okay? And just relax in. We're gonna do the right and left side and finish with a nice low squat, working on the breathing at the bottom. Lean in a little bit further forward for this last 30 seconds. Again, keeping that breath nice and deep, and that will help relax off the muscles. Fifteen seconds, stay nice and relaxed. Don't force it with this last wee bit. Keep that breathing good. Just lowering yourself down if you can. On the breath out, lean up, and then just switch sides. Again, if you need to go cross in, that's fine. If you want to go double pigeon, even better. You might find one side slightly tighter than the other. It's completely normal. It just depends on your muscle balances. Um, so just do what you need to do in this position. If one's cross in, if one's double pigeon, no problem at all, okay? Just work on it, build up that flexibility and mobility over time, and you'll really notice a good difference. You're almost there, just over 10 seconds left. On the breath out, push yourself up. Okay, last position guys, what we're gonna do is a squat position, okay? So you can stand up first, square your feet off, and your toes point slightly outwards, you're gonna squat down. Lay your hips, sink nice and low, Knees track over your toes. Nice little bit of upright torso if we can. I'm just going to relax the knees in here. Okay, we're not forcing out yet, but we've got them in position, ready to force them out. And now we're going to force out. So nice big push. And relax off. Again, put your elbows in ready, but don't force it yet. We're just going to force it for a count of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Relax off. Okay, we're gonna do one more round of that. Elbows in. One, two, three, four, five. Stand up. This time we're gonna dig your elbows in towards your groin, okay? Feet slightly wider apart. 
just outside your hip width. You're not going to go as low this time, it was in. Fourth down, grab your feet. You'll probably be about parallel, maybe slightly higher. Really force in, in that groin area. And then push yourself up. Force out, really force it. Relax off. Just into a normal squat. Little bounce, shift either side. Let the knees come over the toes. Torso nice and high. Big breath in, <sighs> breath out. Well done guys, nice wee mobility session there, about 10 minutes, easing off some of your major muscle groups. If you've just done a wee workout, done a wee circuit class, a wee bit of weights, that's going to be ideal, make you feel good for tomorrow. Well done, see you next time.